Trump. At this time, not just a billionaire real estate magnate, but also a presidential hopeful. Some of his policies? Well, he sees North Korea as the biggest threat to USA security, and if needs be, he's prepared to nuke them. And oh yeah, he'd like Oprah Winfrey in his cabinet. A little bit of Vegas flying in the air. <laughs> look at the toilet. Oh, it's gold. There's this gold sink, John. Look. Wow. And look at a cushioned toilet thing. I've never, like, you're going to sit on it? Oh, wait, oh, it's a B-Day. Why would you need a B-Day on an airplane? Why would you need a B-Day on an airplane? Usually I warm people up. You know, there's like a day or something. But this was the first time I met him. I was terrified, and so I started that shtick right away. Do you want a little makeup? Maybe a little bit, yeah. Yeah, all right. Is this on now or not? It's always on. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's, that's right. it's all we never okay. close. Okay, why don't we do this? Turn that off for a second. I'll do that. Okay. All right. I felt right away this wasn't a match made in heaven. I'm talking like I'm on helium. I don't talk like that. Even in the voiceover, I'm scared. Hi, who are you? Oh, Roger Stone. Oh, Roger, hi. Nice to meet you. And in the background hi, is thanks. the Machiavellian Roger Stone, who, when he left office, remember Trump gave him a pardon? You know, because he was in prison because he was doing wrong things. Because you're a little tan. Why don't you sit here and why don't you have the camera right there, okay? Well, I like to be on it too. That's my problem. Oh. So do you mind me sitting you next to you? Here? Yeah. I'm getting to the charm, you know what I mean? We're trying to get to the charm, which he's very charming. I mean, this won't last the entire flight, I would assume. I mean, I, I assume this is also being recorded, so... Yeah, this will last. Uh, it depends born, when you're funny. Just, you say, when you're not swearing. funny... This yeah. is one of the most excruciating moments of my career. It did not feel good. Not Donald's fault, but I sensed it might only get worse. You did, but you never smiled once, and you probably have a really good smile. Well, that's okay. Okay. Just an average smile. Let's go. Okay, you're not going to... All right. You know, it's like you have a plane. You have, like, this great life that anybody would want to have. Why would you want to run for president? Because <laughs> a president would want this gig. Well, it really is. We could save a lot of money with Air Force One. We wouldn't need Air Force One. Think of, use this plane. Think of how the tax payers would benefit by that. It's uh, another acquisition. I mean, it is an ac acquisition of power. What happened was because he scared me, I wasn't as funny as I could be. It was less and less funny and more and more aggressive. But it was too daunting with him. He didn't get it. And he looked at me the way my dad always looked at me, like, oh, God, she's a kook, rolling his eyes. She's not funny. She's not talented. She's an idiot. And I saw that in front of me. So I became an idiot. Okay, we have to take off. Okay. okay. Oh, do you have to go in the front? I'm going to Can I come too? Relax for a second. Oh, please. I want to sit in the cockpit, too. I'm going to pick up the money. Excuse me. That's enough. I have a headache. Do you hate me? No, I think you're fine, but it's enough. Okay, excuse me. Okay. I think it's enough. I mean, we're just, you know, it's like a comedy routine here. And here is the nightmare every interviewer fears when you see your career spiral out of control. But after some schmoozing, which I can't go into, Donald agreed to come back, but it was very dicey. I hope the show goes to Scotland. Of course it does. Does no. it go to the Hebrides? Of course it does. You know, my mother was born in the Hebrides. Yeah. And she's a McLeod. And I love England and I love Scotland, although they don't necessarily love each other. McLeod was a famous uh, clan, wasn't warriors. it? Warriors. Warriors. Great warriors. Yeah. And my mother's a great warrior. Did she give you a tough time when you were growing up? No, she's a great mother. I actually had a great mother. You're lucky. I had a terrible mother. I always feel very lucky. I can tell. It. You can tell yeah, I Because you're angry. I am angry. You can read You're that. angry with a smile. <gasps> he read me. You know, I'm aggressive with a smile. But boy, was he scary. Trump on his go. Okay, can okay. I go in your car? Uh, not with a camera. Not with a camera. No camera? When we were in the car, that's when he started to like me because he talked about women and what he likes to do and used the P word and him and Roger were schmoozing and he thought I'd faint from horror, but you know, I could give as good as I could take. So then Roger and me and oh yeah, Donald headed off to his Taj Mahal casino. At this point, Donald and I are friends. We're just kidding around. He's such a kidder. 
I'm, I'm going to be with you, you until you throw me out. But this isn't typical working. Typical American. You know, you ought to throw her out of England. She's too obnoxious to be in England. He keeps using that word. It's too insulting. Oh, I've been squeezed out. I understand. Okay, I'll be back here. If you guys want me, I'm back here. He terrified me. That's my biggest fear, is a male looking at me with that much hatred. Trump is impenetrable, and I'm like a dog. I'm relentless, and that's not what would, would ever work. I could never get through to him or figure him out. You are so obnoxious. I know, I know, but this I'm This is a here. reporter for BBC. Yeah. He's yeah. the world's no. most obnoxious no. reporter. You know this woman, big reporter in England. Never heard she of means that. nothing over here. Oh, no, stay there. You have to stay at the door. All right, I'll stay here. See how we have a relationship going now. I have to stay at the door. Would you take this lamb chop? Just get it out of my hand. When he says I'm obnoxious, I have to admit he's right. Because he scared me so much, I'm up against the wall. So I'm just saying anything now. Oh, the role of the first lady, which of course I never discussed with him because. He says he can get one within 24 hours. Well, he could. I mean, the point is that you, uh, I think he would have a very traditional first lady. I mean, somebody.